If you're like many companies in the energy world, you're busy evaluating and acquiring generation assets. It's an exciting endeavor that is potentially troublesome. Recently, an executive from one well-known energy firm told me it is not uncommon for companies to group assets into a bundle for transfer to another entity. And many of those assets are great and look great on paper, but occasionally the selling company will include a little lemon in the package, hoping the attraction of the more appealing assets will distract you from the lemon. A lemon in the energy industry is like a lemon in the automobile industry, but the order of magnitude is way different in terms of potential financial and reputational risk. Automobiles represent thousands of dollars, whereas individual power generating stations represents tens to hundreds of millions of dollars. We're going to lose sleep over the purchase of generating assets if time has not been put into identifying their latent risk. All sorts of potential problems could be hidden within a purchased generation asset bundle. We know of one asset transfer, for example, where the purchasing company learned after obtaining the asset that the original owner had not even registered the asset with NERC, much less implemented an internal compliance program. We heard about another asset that self-reported an item and ultimately received a civil penalty on self-report. You see, the previous owner had self-reported the same issue, but did not conduct any corrective action. The new owner, through lack of due diligence, was unaware that their self-report was a repeat condition because of their lack of due diligence.